We'd like to welcome everyone today to CIRCLE. It's the Central Illinois Regional Chamber legislative effort. This group uh, is comprised of chamber directors, uh, the members from our government affairs committees, and also some of the board of directors. The coalition was formed uh, to discuss and bring forward movement on issues affecting the regional region's business climates and also the members. We're here today to detail our March 2nd trip to Springfield and also welcome regional residents to join us in this uh, trip. And with that, I'd like to introduce Rob Parks to detail some of the issues that we'll be discussing in Springfield. We are getting together uh, and, and trying to have an impact on what happens in Springfield uh, as a group. Uh, we'll be meeting with key legislators and staffers and folks from the administration uh, talking about five different areas. Uh, first of all is the issue of public pension reform. Um, this is something that uh, some of the chambers have been talking about for a long time. Um, it has a big impact on the cost of doing business in the state of Illinois. It has an impact on city budgets. Uh, we want to have some conversation about some workers' comp issues. Um, this is a perennial issue uh, for the business community uh, and one that is always important to us. We tend to be a high-cost workers' comp state. Uh, we also want to talk about full funding and implementation of the Illinois Jobs Now program. It passed. Uh, it's in place. The problem is the bonds haven't been let, um, and so we are not moving as quickly as we would like to, um, and, and we want to talk about that. We also want to talk about the issue of slow payment cycles from the state of Illinois. Uh, this impacts all kinds of businesses, and what that does is it once again add to the cost of doing business. It creates huge cash flow uh, problems for some companies. If you have the state of Illinois as a major client and they are not paying on a regular basis, that creates some problems. And then education funding. Education is important to all of our chambers. Um, as you may know, there's been a uh, building program, a capital program for schools for several years, but hasn't been funded since about 2002 or three. Uh, so the schools that are approved are still approved back that far. So those are the five issues we'll be dealing with. Uh, we are going to Springfield on March 2nd um, and hopefully taking 75 or 100 folks with us uh, representing all of those chambers of commerce. So it's an all-day trip, $75. You can go to any of the chambers' websites uh, to register. Our goal is to have people on the trip with us who are impacted by some of these issues. Um, chambers of Commerce try real hard to tell the story for our business members, but in reality, our business members can tell their own story much better than we can. Representative government only works the way it's supposed to if representatives show up, if the people voice their opinion. Um, and this is one way for the business community to come together uh, throughout the region and do that.